How's it going everybody? In today's video we're going to be showing you an easy car to car merge glitch in GTA 5 Online. You will need a friend for this one and there are some very important steps that I will include in this video. And a massive thank you to Shotgun uh, for helping me out with this and working out all the little bugs and glitches. You're a legend. If you want to see some more videos like this, money glitches, outfit glitches, anything like that, do consider dropping us a sub and a like. It does help us out a heap and I do appreciate you tuning in. And before we get into the video, thanks to U4GM for sponsoring this video. They offer all sorts of modded accounts, billion and trillion cash, high RP levels, modded cars, modded outfits, and fast run. If you're interested, check out the link in the description for more services. And also do not forget, use my code WEEZY for 5% off when you're checking out. Alrighty guys, hope you enjoy. Back to the video. <laughs> Man, the difference in the mic quality is crazy. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is the most important step of the glitch. This is going to allow you to be able to continuously run the glitch back to back to back. So you need to register as an MC president. Your friend needs to get into your car. Your friend will then start the sprint in the LS car meet. You will join that sprint. And as the timer counts down to two seconds, you want to kick your friend out of the car. So you just return the vehicle to storage and that will do that. So right here on two seconds, you'll just return your car to storage. It'll kick your friend out of the vehicle and they will be on a black screen. So what you need to do from here, while your friend is on the black screen, you need to return your vehicle back to the LS car meet and start a takeover. This will force the sprint race to start and it will also keep the player helping in a glitched out state so you can continue to do the glitch. Once the sprint has started up, you will get your player helping to leave the sprint and then both of you will just drive back over to the LS car meet. So head back over to the car meet and once you've done that step once, you don't need to do it again. So this will just keep you in a glitched out state. If you restart your game, you will have to do that step again. So from here you want to disband your motorcycle club and you don't have to start up a CEO but if you don't have a Sparrow in, a, in the Kasaka then start up a CEO so you can call the buzzard. Your friend needs to be in a motorcycle club and you need to get into your friend's car and your friend needs to start a sprint. Make sure you have the car that you want to take the mods off of onto another car in the LS car meet and out at the moment. So what your friend is going to do is call his car back to the garage at 2 seconds and it will kick you out of the vehicle. This will put you onto a black screen and that's where you just have to join Anawak. So just through your PS menu you can join Anawak. So you, when you join Anawak you want to accept the first alert and decline the second. So as soon as these alerts pop up you want to accept that one and decline that one. As long as you can move if you're in this glitched out view then you're all good to go. So now you're here and you can move around. You want to head over to your pause tab, go to online, go down to options and go to the queue yourself option. Now you've loaded back in, you should be able to hop out of your car. You'll have this weird camera angle and it's a little bit hard to control, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, so from here you want to call out either your buzzard if you're registered as a CEO or a sparrow if you have one of them. So once you've called out your helicopter, you want to walk over to that and make your way into it. And you want to let your friend know when you're in the helicopter and up in the air. So when you get into the helicopter, you can just basically hold R2 or try to like blind fly to roughly where your yacht would be. So when you're in the helicopter and you're up in the air, let your friend know and he'll call his car back and start a takeover in the LS car meet. What this does is forces the sprint race to start again and it will fix your camera so you can fly over to the yacht a lot easier. So right here you can see the sprint race is just about to start. My camera is about to do some weird stuff and zoom all the way out. But as soon as this cutscene finishes, then we're back to normal camera and we can fly straight over to our yacht. the captain call your captain and when you're hovering over top of the yacht you can call out your personal vehicle when you call out your personal vehicle and you see it spawn on the map then you're able to just hold triangle and respawn and this will put you straight into the merged modded car so as you can see when we respawn we'll have the mods from the car that we had in the LS car meet merged onto the car that we've just called out so if it's a weaponized car, you'll need to call out your MOC and just change any mod on the car. So just like something simple like armor or brakes or whatever, and that will save the car. If it's a non-weaponized car, you can just drive it into LS car meet, end the sprint or into just a normal LS customs. Just change something on the car, which will save it, and then you're free to put it in your garage. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Massive shout out to Shotgun for helping me out with this glitch. And if you do enjoy content like this, do consider dropping us a sub. It helps us out a ton. I appreciate you all. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope this helped you out and we'll see you in the next one.